Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video we're going to launch three attempts at a Venus orbiter, but first while ELA-4 is waiting to launch those, we are going to construct some commsats. Uh, a pack of three commsats for base, not exactly, it's sort of medium Earth orbit, not low Earth orbit, but uh, probably about 4,000 kilometers is what I'm looking for here. And so we have stacked them like this, and we're only using an Ariana launcher to make it quick, and we'll see how it goes. The goal is to be cheap about it, uh, unabashedly, because the solar panels still have degradation, and we're going to have to replace them. So there's no point making very expensive commsats at this point. And yeah, uh, we, we've got them at tech level 4 and everything, but it's going to be limiting. Actually, we have a mix of things. I decided to unlock some new solar panels here, uh, these guys here, but they say that they're, tech, uh, they're, they're extendable level one solar panels. Does that mean the degradation is level one? I can't tell because here it's got all sorts of degradation stuff, right? But here it doesn't. So, but if it's degradation at level one, that's pretty bad. You know, they're gonna degrade pretty quickly but maybe not. Now, maybe this di dialogue is correct, and you know we could check like that, uh, in which case they do seem to degrade a bit, let's say after a year-ish, 67% uh, compared to these guys. Well, uh, okay, let's call that close enough. Th these are 76%, so uh, these are certainly better, uh, certainly a better tech as far as degradation is concerned according to this this number but not that much better this 67 percent that's 76 percent uh but anyway i've unlocked these because they provide extra power and hopefully that will help but altogether these should not take too much power we've got one commutron 16 off to the side here so i could stack them because i can't put it on the top and so we put a small solar panel on the opposite side because it's the exact same mass as the commutron um, I don't know if I needed to do that or not, but there we are. Uh, so yeah, otherwise they've got one kilonewton thruster there, and they're MMH and Mon 3, and uh, mature avionics, we've got one ton core that we can turn off, so that'll be fine. And if we take a look at just one of these, um, even like this it says perpetual. Uh, but if we really extend everything out, you can see we have four times what's required, but that's probably not with this active. Let's get that active. Okay, twice what's active, but then once we uh, shut down avionics, it's, uh, let's say, three times uh, what we need. So uh, that will be good for a little while. We'll see how far we get. So this stage will boost them up, and then they'll circularize at intervals. This stage is just one of the 3 kilonewton thrusters, 3.6 kilonewton. Uh, so we're not using the Gamma 2 or Large 2 there, because this is just an Ariana launcher anyway. Okay, and unfortunately this will still take longer to build than our Venus window, so we won't be able to launch these in time for that window to help out or anything, but at least we'll get them ready to go for other missions and hopefully they'll last, you know, at least two years kind of thing. As far as crude stuff is concerned, I suppose we should get Viola and Nancy training for proto-space plane proficiency as well. Or, no, they're still on cooldown. Well, once they finish cooldown, we can. Um, which will happen before we launch for Venus. Okay, Viola's free. It's got to take a while though. Oh, we should roll the other one out. Uh, we could have rolled both of them out at the same time. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, and ignition. And launch. Oh, we've lost an engine. Probably okay. Okay, staging. Bearings. And third stage. 
our three larches. And shut down, 235 by 186. All right. Um, yep, separation. Can we deorbit this other stage? We had some sort of secondary propulsion system on this, it'd be easy. It's got a fair amount of HTP, not as much helium. We should probably put the animation mon 3 on it. Well, I'm not gonna waste time. <laughs> Oh, but maybe, we'll say it's deorbiting. It certainly wouldn't last in orbit for very long. We need to do some cleanup. Okay, let's see about Venus. Well, the node that MechJeb creates will take a while, but it's probably all right. Okay, it was pretty generous about the orbital parameters. Below 278 m million meters, or 278,000 kilometers, that'll do it. And so that node is 1,700. Mm, maybe we want less. <laughs> 1,600. That's almost what we've got. We'll have to see. So it's going to be tight with this one. But this was the tightest one. The others all have more. We've picked that Amalek station up. But... Uh... I don't know how much it's going to last. I really should have put an Omni antenna on this. This doesn't have comms inside of it. It's possible Omelette will be in a better position on the next orbit anyway. There's two Geosat ends. Targeting one will cause us to lose communication. Targeting the other will be alright. <laughs> that says Looney 2 is what we're communicating through even though I've pointed the antenna at the Deneb Geosat N is Looney 2 over here somewhere? Uh, I bet the uh, the dish antenna on our probe is uh, S-band that's probably why but what happens when we stage? okay once we stage we gotta be in trouble We needed to have some sort of comms in here that it was UHF. I mean, I'm guessing we gotta lose this connection as soon as we stage, right? Yep. <laughs> oh well. I don't know what to tell it to point to to get to point to Amalek. I didn't see that as an option. Well, we're gonna have to make sure the others have a UHF unit on the top controller. Alright, well... This one's... going where? And... yeah, it's not hitting Venus, so... Alright, well... we'll tell it to start its science and who knows, but... It's pretty much done for. Okay, well, let's uh, let's check out Eve 3 and Eve 2 to make sure that they're going to be alright. Let me roll that back. Looks like it only takes 13 minutes. Oh, well, now that I put the fairings on, it's 19 hours. Eve 3 is rolling out first. Uh, we're quite a bit late on the Venus window, though, so I don't know if this is going to work out for us. We'll see. Let's see, what does Transfer Window Planner have to say exactly? Oh, there's a dot there. <laughs> okay, here we go with the E3 on a Deneb A3. SAS on, throttle is up, and ignition. And launch. Now, this one's a bit tricky though. This one has the RZ-20s that we haven't really used.
Okay, staging, staging, and ignition is good, and fairness. So we will also need the RZ-20s to restart. Okay, let's find out. Looks like we have two of them so far. First hydro locks. I should have tilted them so that they'd be pointing through the center of mass, but I didn't do that this time. In the future, that would be advisable. I mean, if one shuts off, then the other could continue, kind of thing. They're like that on the space plane. Mean time between failures, two hours. Ignition chance, 96%. And shut down, 234 by 225. Oh, let McJeb figure this one out. It did a good job last time. Um, ASAP, please. Okay, that's fine by me. We have more than enough for that. Our UHF antenna is talking to the Geosat. And ignition. Got two. Pretty much on time. And shut down. Alright. Uh, probably we overburned a little bit, so I'll just have it turn to retrograde right now while we take a look. Uh, just decoupling is going to throw this off though. But that's pretty good. Very nice. Okay, well, if we didn't want to throw it off much, we would go radial. And... separation. Okay, well, let's get avionics back here. Uh, it looks like we were a little bit over mass. Uh, can I light the engine? Or no? Okay, well, Z, yes, with my throttle, no. Okay. Now we have that, but how far off did that throw us? Um, well, I could do a correction right now for that. We've got 3,000 to capture. Uh, well, that'll be good enough for now. I mean, considering how just turning is going to mess us up. I think maybe even trying to correct this is asking for too much. Okay, you know what, you know what? Um, we will just do that and make course adjustment. Let's um, point at the sun, spin up, and then we'll plot it out and make course adjustment. Oh, that's pretty good for the make course adjustment. And then once we get there after 160 days, and we try to capture, it'll cost 1,700 as we saw before. That's, we can probably go lower than that, but we don't need to. And so we'll add that alarm for this maneuver. And this seems to be all set. So we'll have enough Delta V in theory. We'll see if it survives. Um, gotta shut down avionics for now. Okay, so it's ready to go. Let's try and launch the other one. Okay, well, we are practically a week past the revised Venus transit window planner window and so we've taken a while and that's because it had to recondition the pad before we even started rolling this thing out so yeah anyway throttle up SAS is on so this is the conventional upper stage no hydrogen here and ignition and launch this is the good old larches again We'll see how they do. Just two of them. Well, two of them on the third stage and then uh, another one on the transfer stage. Oh, we've got lots of performance on one engine, but it's just thrust, not the specific impulse. So we can leave it running. In a weird way, that might help because the core will actually last longer than the boosters. 
Okay, booster set. Okay, stage set. And fairing set. Lots of stuff going off there. So with the tracking station upgrade and the uh, tech level 4 antennas, this sort of setup will be just fine for Mars, I think. So we will try it. It is basically what we're going to send to Mars as well. And we'll build two for Mars. We'll build one with the Larches and one with the RZ-20s. We're probably going to skip the non-booster Deneb version. Okay, way too much time to have WAPSIS here though. Alright, uh, separation. We'll have to pitch down quite a lot more because this stage does not relight. Okay, shut down 298 by 214. And plenty of extra Delta V in here, but that's fine for now. Okay, separation. And we'll see uh, this one retrograde. Okay, well, we'll just pretend that the orbits. It's got the RCS running, eventually. That will happen. And let us plot for Venus. Are we still good here? Got a little bit more, but we're still good. Looney 2 again. It's always Looney 2. There will be a Geosat over the node. And we have a line to it. Okay, so that's a go. Okay. Ignition. And the larch is fine. Okay, staging. Well, we don't have to worry about that insufficient avionics this time. We'll get that back soon enough. That's pro the insufficient avionics is probably because I added the UHF antenna into this score. Um, the whole thing was sized for one ton, and then I added that antenna back in, and that added mass. So that's why we have that problem. Finishing the burn with uh, this smaller thruster is a little bit calmer than trying to use one of the big engines like we did with the RZ-20 stage. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll take something like that for now. And point at the sun. Okay, well, we'll need to make course adjustment. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Seems to be properly pointed. You will spin. Maybe polar's not a bad idea. Or, you know, inclined anyway. Very minor correction. And after that correction, we certainly have enough to capture. Okay. Adding that. So, two. Venus orbiters on their way. Hopefully they'll be all right. And we will shut down avionics for now. So it is recharging even more. And so with this on its way, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.